Welcome back to the channel. This video is all about configuring import aliases in Astro, which will help you immensely if you're working with lots of different markdown files at different levels or lots of different components and pages. In this video, we're looking at how to create a new Astro project from a template, how to set up import aliases in the astro.config.mjs file, and how to import components using these aliases. I've got a shell open in the folder where I'd like to create the project. In this case, I'm using Windows PowerShell, but you can use any shell of your choice depending on the operating system you're using. The command you need to create a new Astro project is npm create Astro. You'll need to have node.js installed for this to work. It'll then ask you for the folder name. I'm going to use video Astro import aliases. You can use whatever folder name you like and that will be created inside the directory where your shell is running. It then asks you which starter you would like to use. We're going to use the few best practices starter. It gives you a bit of direction. The personal website starter kit is a little bit too opinionated in my opinion and the empty project won't give you much direction. It will then ask you if you'd like to install npm dependencies. You can do this manually with the command npm install, but it's easier just to hit Y and install them right now. It will then ask you if you'd like to initialize a new git repository. You can do this manually with the command git init, but it's easier just to hit Y and have it done for you. Then for TypeScript, I'm going to choose relaxed as it's not a main focus of this video. We're then informed that we have to change into the directory, which has just been created, so we can start work on the project. So I'm on the Astro docs page for aliases, and I'll leave the link in the description below. What it's illustrating here is normally when you're doing an import, you have to provide a relative path. And more often than not, you have to work up through the directories to get to the actual folder which you are loading the components from. If we configure some import aliases in the tsconfig file, we can then use the aliases with an at sign that we've configured, and it makes it a lot easier to reference your components and layouts. So let's go ahead and we'll copy the compiler options. We'll open up the project in VS Code. and underneath extends, we'll put in the compiler options. You must specify the base URL for the aliases to work. Go into your source folder, and we don't need the assets one, so we'll change that to layouts. We'll then start up the development server. and we'll control click on the link to open it in the browser. We'll just check that everything's working. Then we'll go into pages and index.astro and we'll use the at alias before layouts and the at alias before components. And we'll save that and we'll refresh the server and you can see that everything is working properly. Now we'll make a folder inside pages, we'll call it test, we can then simply copy our index.astro into that folder because all of our imports use aliases, and then we'll check that in the browser. So we'll do slash test, and you'll see that all the components are importing correctly because we've used aliases, there's no need to add depth to the import paths. So that's it for this video. I've left a link to the files for this tutorial in the description below. If you like it, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you're notified of my regular coding tutorials.